What's up, everyone? Welcome to the Anime Isekai Podcast. Uh, this episode, we'll be discussing the fall 2021 anime previews of the season. I'm your host, David, and joining me today, we have Stren. Hello. Next up, we have Ku. Yo. Next up, we have Taylor. Hello. And finally, we have Justin. Hey, guys. Hey. So uh, it's been a while since we do this preview. So if um, you don't know, we're just gonna just list all of the shows that we're interested in. Just give a brief summary of what they are. Most of them, most lucky from Miami, Miami list, and then just give us each of us just to say why we're excited for it. Um, usually, uh, we do other episodes where we have full discussions. Obviously, spoilers. So watch the show first before you watch it. Um, we've done other shows from fall and summer. So check those out if you haven't. Um, check that on YouTube or our audio. Um, other other episodes so and no really big anime news here we just uh jump that straight into <laughs> i remember yeah. yeah so just gotta jump straight into into all the shows so the third first big one i guess technically it's cut fall we were just gonna call it but uh demon slayer um i guess mugen train and the entertainment arc even though um mugen train like you know all us here have seen the movie if you haven't um well here's a chance to watch it in episode tv episode format this is actually what i was kind of worried about uh, people were gonna miss this if they didn't watch the movie but that this solves that problem so that'll be fine so yeah. i guess so i guess uh i don't know i have to i guess i should really have to explain if you don't know what demon slayer is really popular shonen show about <laughs> a boy who loses his family has to save his sister from becoming a demon so and or she's I a demon. Know, I don't know what else. She, he's trying to like, uh, um, find the cure, I guess. Find the cure to, yep. to turn him back to a human, and he trains and becomes a demon slayer. And so, very popular series. Someone else has better synopsis than I do. So, so this is the continuation. Um, the the movie was called Mugen, Mugen Train. It is canon, so you have to watch it after season one, and that's what we watched. Um, so they're re airing as a TV show. Um, I did. So we all heard that like the first episode was actually supposed to be about Ren Rengoku's backstory. So I'm gonna watch the first episode, see what it is <laughs> Skip like. The but <laughs> I mean, I might still watch it. Like I, I like the movie, so I wouldn't mind be watching yeah. it. So. Well, I think there was like I think there was supposed to like uh, add new scenes. Or I, I thought that's what they. Yeah, that's what Maybe. I did as well. So like I was not really I was never a really big fan of that when they just add a couple of new scenes. Yeah, you know. I I think so. to your point, David. Like I'm definitely interested in in seeing you know what they show for for Rengoku's backstory for anime onlys who maybe you know didn't get to see what the, what the manga has to show. Um, but then to your point, you know, if the follow up episodes are like very limited changes and it is just, you know, for lack of a better word, a copy paste of the movie, then I probably won't stick with it. But it's a it's a good, you know, opportunity for those who didn't have the chance to go and see the movie Which, for sure. And they can do it from their home. I'll also mentioned, too. So so the movie and train will run for seven episodes and then season two will actually begin December 5th. So like right like in near the end of fall season. So so that that's when that's when. Technically, season two of Demon Slayer will start with the entertainment arc. Um, we'll actually have uh, weekly episodes of that, so look forward to it. Um, it'll be similar to what we did before before we changed the format, but we'll be discussing every episode that airs that week. So look forward to that. Um, so um, so for the entertainment arc, I know a lot of people hype this up. I'm trying to like stay away from that conversation because a lot of manga conversations can go either way. So. I mean, I'm just more interested in more Demon Slayer, so I don't even know much. I'm just gonna just wait for it to come out and then be hyped up. So if anyone else wants to comment on that, go for it. Yeah, I don't think they're gonna disappoint. That's really all I got. Yeah, it'd be I really hope. hard to do <laughs> so, hope. you know, yeah. with the source material yes. with Ufotable at yeah, the helm. Say. Like, you have to do something really, really <laughs> bad to screw things up. So, I was gonna... like you said. We know what we're getting in store for, so yeah. The only way I think that anything would have been messed up is if it changed animation studio. Yeah, That's but no, have to worry about that. never happened. Yeah, yeah. It's just printing money left and right for everybody involved it, in the they're project. Done, so they're done with fate. So you know, on to the next big money maker. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's really all I got. <laughs> yeah, I think that's all we have for Demon Slayer. I, I'm sure if you're watching this, you know it by now. So, yep. oh yeah, I don't think we have to explain much. But that's Demon Slayer. Um, get ready for December fifth. It's gonna be hype. So that's like the big one out of the way, even though it doesn't start till like way later. <laughs> so let's move on to our next show. Um, we have Platinum N. And so 
this one for so this one for anyone who's not familiar well who's not familiar with the hype Platinum N is done by the same manga duo of Death Note and their follow up Bakuman so so a lot of you know a lot right. of name recognition a lot of prestige coming from this so um, I personally like I mean I I I read Bakuman. I thought it was okay, but it's not what I was looking for after Death Note. So I'm excited to go more into the more serious stuff. And then I keep hearing, I don't know anything about Platinum N. I just keep hearing from what either Johan or Johan. Sasha said. It's, it's like, it's like, was it was it Power Rangers with um, <laughs> yep. something? Something about Power Rangers? With with angels, or whatever. Power Rangers and Angels. That's and angels, as yeah. much you need to know as an intro. Um, I'm looking forward to this. I actually read a, a first couple few of the chapters from the manga, uh, but then, you know, knowing that the anime was coming, decided to just hold off and, and wait to see. Um, you know, to your point, David, for those that enjoyed Death Note and, and more of kind of the serious adult tones and, and darker tones of it, they'll definitely get that in this show. Um, one thing I will say, though, is it, it does feel very copy pasty, for lack of a better word, of just more Death Note. And I think a lot oh. of you guys will see oh. that with the character archetypes. So, so what you're saying is Return of Kira and L. <laughs> uh, if you're, yeah. For lack so what of a you're better saying word. is... I'm okay with what that. we're saying with is Platinum End is basically uh, Season 3 of Death Note. Oh, yes, yes. With Power Rangers. So, yes, Sa- with Sasha Power Rangers. Too? Very important. Well, is that certain? Sasha read this? I don't know if he's read it. Oh, okay. I assume he has, but I'm I don't sure know if he's he read did. it to completion. I don't, know if read the, I don't know if you read the whole thing. I'm sure he did because Johan yeah. told him. So. Okay, let, me look, I, let me look at the, the... I didn't even look at the studio because it's, it's... It's a signal MD. There's all these random shows I don't recognize. So we'll yeah. see. I really didn't pay attention to the studio just because I knew I was going to watch this anyway. Oh, they... Wait, they did the... Oh, they did the game. Okay. I thought it was something about Fate Grand Order, but it's like something game... Really, it's only one OVA, so... Oh yeah, they, they, did did Mars, they, they did the they movies. Did Mars, they, they did Mars Red, Justin. <laughs> hey, well, okay, animation wise, it's gonna be fine. You know, Mars okay. Red story wise, a whole different story, but okay, animation wise, they can they can do good stuff. Good to know, so good to know. it'll be good looking. Yeah. Yeah. Intense animation yeah. for the Power Ranger changes. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, so I that's all I had. For yeah, I really. Yeah, yeah it's one of those shows that you know, there's lots of hype going into it just because of the uh source that it comes from to your point yeah. david so i'm actually i'm curious to know like how many people actually like know about this that it's made by death note creators or just some random thing and then they realize oh it's by this death note creator i'm afraid. curious I, think if you're yeah, anime, to see. I don't know yeah. i don't know if i would knew i don't even know if i would know this it wasn't well, for johan telling uh, me anything, so. yeah i think you have to be more of a more hardcore to right. know mm-hmm. for just sure. kidding it. but for the general populace i think the david's point a lot of people will watch it and then if they you know read the reddit threads and everything they'll find out that you know it's the same person as death note so. what's this new anime comes out it looks like it's just a copy of death note <laughs> yeah <laughs> it'll be fun it'll be a good time to see how uh how people take it i never even read the yeah. synopsis of it i basically just jumped in because it Definitely. Everything I know is from Johan, so yeah. Pretty much. Yeah. And also, and I'll, I'll see, I might I might drop this, but well, I'm, I'm gonna Jeez. give it a shot just because just because it doesn't seem like it'll be my type. It's surprising, anime, you know? yeah. It's one of those right. things where it's like, if you like Death Note, you'll like Death Note. But it's like if you like Death Note and you didn't, you felt like you don't need any more of Death Note, then mm-hmm. that could also probably turn you off with this. You're just like, oh, we're right. getting more of a Death Note type experience. <laughs> so I get yeah. that. Okay. But, yeah. So that's it for Platinum Man. Let's move on to our next show. It's about Mir Gochan. First of all, so this, uh, yes. this, this one actually read the manga, so right. like, I don't want to spoil too much, so I'll mm-hmm. let you guys talk. No, I, I think it'll be interesting to see your thoughts on it, David, you know, now knowing that you've read the manga, because... Okay. As I'll we say, were I'll say of, this. Like, I'll, yeah. I will say this. Like, as the very first thing, the manga is not this etchy. <laughs> <laughs> it is not, like, yeah. So that's... So, so this is an so upgrade. <laughs> They brought so, in their horizons. They know the crowds. So, so if all if all of these ass shots like really like is really distracting, then go read the manga because it's much better. 
there. Yeah, I'm gonna be honest um, with you. This this might be an enemy that I drop as well, but I'm just giving it a shot because of hmm. recommendations. Because it doesn't really seem to be my kind of thing, right? I mean, of course, okay. I always appreciate the uh, the the nice uh, screenshots that you can get from this type of show. But like, uh, but then like it it, it it puts you in a weird spot, right? Like you got you got this this the somewhat attractive cast, I guess. They're trying to do fan service. Do you have the best friend who has big tits? And I feel like that's all she's used for, fan service. And then uh, I do like the the fact that the monster seems fairly unique, and it is kind of creepy here and there. But I've I've yet to see a show where they do comedy and horror well, and it's able to like entertain me, keep me like just uh, like enticed the whole time. Like in all honesty, I didn't know how to feel because of all the fan service that they put in the show. But it, it is interesting to to give it a few more episodes. So mm-hmm. we'll, we'll see what happens. I, okay, I will say to that point in the manga, it leans more on like the suspense than the comedy. I was gonna say, yeah. Like, okay, first, that's good. The first like, episode was not funny at all. <laughs> yeah. Like it's. So. I mean, it, it. The first episode was like is more lighthearted towards the end because like, because like the first half didn't even have any soundtrack at all. It was just all like just all like the, the ambient noises. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's so, ominous. So it's kind of like that. It's kind of like that in the manga where it's like there's there's comedic moments but it's also it's kind of dark because like it's this girl who's like really afraid of all the things that's happening to her and so you yeah. feel really bad for her and so it's not like and so i, I guess it would be better if, to for them to phrase it as more of like a a dark comedy because i think to your point yeah. yeah it's not like a happy-go-lucky like you know haha mm-hmm. comedy oh, no. like <laughs> i would definitely be turned off if you know in the next few episodes like the monsters themselves become like really like goofy and comic-y no, like no, i wouldn't no. want that at all that's so to hear what you happen, said no. yeah that it becomes much more suspenseful i love that that's good it's to hear. all it's all about like the monsters being creepy just showing up places that she doesn't want them to be her nice. like just freaking out and like her can't you know the whole theme is like you know can you see me and i can't say anything <laughs> Yeah, so that's the thing yeah. like yeah all those moments <laughs> yeah. and not going for much but like, in the first episode the like all those moments where she's basically just you know trying to deadpan not focus on the monsters like mm-hmm. i took that as the comedy focus and i i enjoyed that of her just like trying yeah. to as far as like the dark the not dark recognize the monsters aspects where it's like it is kind of funny but at the same time like you always feel bad for her in the in the manga okay so. David, that's good nice. to hear david is there like a plot in the manga or is it really there's just not, vignettes there's of, not a plot for ah, a while monster. oh boy there's not okay. a plot for like a while there's, mm-hmm. there's a point where like, something happens but like a lot of the beginning is just like it's just her like trying to deal with the situations that yeah. happens to her so yeah. i don't think i have it in the in this in this the anime but like the part that i read through like there was it was getting somewhere but not like too serious though it's mm-hmm. still just just like just her trying to um just the general general live her daily uh, life. idea of like just yeah, yeah live so her nice. daily life so okay the animation of horror it's... everything is really nice the it's very, i was gonna it's say very creepy. it's beautifully animated yep, yeah so. it is really well animated that I one mean, will I, probably I, be a drop for me though <laughs> yeah i mean, okay, guys, yeah. Yeah. I mean were, were, you guys, were you guys thinking of the it's... whole if i can't see it it's not happening ordeal like i feel like that's the mentality that she's just having and to me yeah it's if like I that's know. the whole that, thing and that's like that her stick that thing. could be yeah. a little yeah. a little a little old uh, so. i should yeah. mention too about because her name uh mir miru that means that in japanese it means like you can see and then mm-hmm. if you add ko at the end that's like another common way to to name girls so so the girl who can see is uh, the meaning of her name okay i was wondering that because her name is miko but then the name of the show is it, it's miru short for me me miru ko. Uh, yeah. okay okay so yeah. her, her full name is miru ko one thing that'll be kind okay. of interesting though like what happens like if she actually engages the ghosts or the the spirits because uh, right now she yeah i feel like he just, has to at some point yeah because right now <laughs> she's just acting like you know nothing's there and for some reason yeah. like the ghosts or spirits are trying to reach out to her to basically who knows we'll, yeah. we'll see yeah, we'll find out right yeah yeah so, but i will continue definitely yep, yep. so that is it for mir Fushan. move on to our next show um i'm pretty sure this is the english title like i'm because this one i see all the one this is the far away paladin i don't know anything about this show i just saw <laughs> it's like some sort of fantasy, fantasy setting it's not it's actually not isekai for once it's like it actually like this guy was born <laughs> in this world he's from this world he has he actually he's actually doing fancy things that relate to his world he doesn't know anything about japan or like <laughs> or like modern technology we'll or has any cheat ability it's just this guy in a fancy world and that's a little bar we're at right now so that's that made me interested <laughs> yeah. yeah 
I'm pretty much only watching this one because it's not an isekai. <laughs> like mm -hmm. if, it, if it did have that additional tag, it would have been a, a pass. But I, I don't know anything about it. I haven't really heard a lot of talk about it. So I feel like I'm going in blind, but I'm kind of excited. Uh, it, 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 it sounds like it's from like a light novel or like maybe mm -hmm. one of those web novels or so I don't know. I don't know how, I, how it's going to go. So I'm, I don't have high expectations. I think it'll just be like one of those like just mm -hmm. just shows I watch while, while I relax. So mm -hmm. show to watch it. while eating. <laughs> yeah. It's Ren's favorite. Yep. Yep. Bad just pass the time. <laughs> I got nothing, dude. <laughs> I got yeah, nothing. I, really <laughs> I was gonna say I've I've heard like, you know, there have been a few articles about it and people seem to be, you know, looking forward to it, but like well, you guys, I really have no expectations <laughs> going into it. All it, right. Ends up being good. Good. If not, then it's one of those shows that I I wouldn't feel bad if I dropped it. <laughs> Should we do a quick synopsis of it? Uh, uh, I'll, <laughs> so. I'll find I'll I'll look for the actual synopsis. The yeah. So was it? Um, was Emmy? Let me try to summarize what. Here I can do it from mine. Yeah. Or if you want to, Justin, go for it. I think you're better. Oh, we'll just read through. So in a city of the dead, long since ruined and far from human civilization, lives a single human child. His name is Will, and he's being raised by three undead. The hardy skeletal warrior Blood, the graceful mummified priestess Mary, and the crotchety spectral sorcerer Gus. The three pour love into the boy and teach them all he knows. But one day, the boy starts to wonder, who am I? Will must unravel these mysteries of the faraway dead man's land and unearth the secret paths of the undead. Guys, I feel like, you know, who am I? I think he knows he was in the Isekai world. He's going to become one. Oh, no. Yeah. Start to cut your mouth. Ah, uh, no. Uh, so, no. Nah. So, I don't think so. Okay. So, what things, the thing I like about fantasy adventures, I love going on journeys. So, if he goes on a mm -hmm. journey, like that would make it interesting for me. So, that definitely put it up in my book. So, that got me, I think that's also what got me interested, is seeing that he's going on a, going on a journey. Mm -hmm. so. I'll give it a shot. Yeah, as long as he doesn't yeah. get like super OP abilities and all these right things. No that, cheat abilities, know. please. Yeah, enough of that. <laughs> I mean, exactly. let's be fair. He's being raised by three like uh, fantasy entities. Fantasy so, skill, yeah. Uh, we'll, 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 we'll see. We'll we'll see. see. It's one thing. He may get a it's one, thing, <laughs> it's one thing to have the main character power. It's another thing to just have a essential cheat power. So that is fair. True. True. So. I, I categorize mm. them differently because Isekai has ruined it. Even though, even though I watched them, so I'm part of the problem. <laughs> Same. That is true. So, so that's it for Far Away Paladin. Move on to our next show, Mushoku Tensei Season oh, 2. Oh, the big yes. one. Hype. Ooh, I, I think it's like I a lot of people's like, most, most anticipated show this season Honestly, besides Demon Slayer. For me, yeah, I was going to say, mm -hmm. for me, Demon Slayer is number one. This would be two, and I actually think that Miracle yeah. Chan would be my number three. As of right now, this this is only number one for me just because I haven't read the source material as compared to Demon Slayer. So that's, that's fair. Man, you encourage the opposite. I know. So. Who's yeah. on that show yet? <laughs> You're going but the other but I will say so with the first episode, really great, really hyped to have it back. You know, they do everything so great with the visuals, the soundtrack, everything. The one thing I will say is. I don't know how much I'm going to enjoy the lolly demon princess Same. and her kind of smug oh, attitude. Oh, yeah. So, Same. I um, mean, okay, actually, I should have mentioned this before, too. Um, we were actually doing, uh, we we're, were doing a weekly episode review of Mushoku Tensei Season 2, just like we did for season, or Part 1, whatever. We're doing the same thing in Part 2. So, yeah. we did it before. We're going to do it again for this this season. So, look, mm -hmm. uh, look, look forward to that. We'll have it in the same YouTube channel, the same, same podcast. So, yeah. we'll have that separate. We'll have... Uh, discussions on Shoku Tensei, so we'll leave it for there. But, but basically, um, I think it's just it's just more what you expect. So it, it yeah. takes it takes I, a, uh, it um, takes off right after the end of the first season. Mm -hmm. yeah. well, so like, if you haven't watched if you haven't watched it, go watch part one right now to get caught up because there's well, no point watching it right now. Yeah, yeah. You do it with your life. Just just <laughs> just click out yeah. this video, Yo go Han. watch it real quick, and then come back. Just, yeah. There's only eleven episodes. Yeah, Johan. Is it? Easy, and I, easy. I gotta say, it's like it's de depending on how they adapt it. This could probably be like the best isekai like anime at least. So. I think it's already up there. Um, yeah, it's definitely on the pacings for sure. Yeah. Um, last thing I'll just say for me personally, and and I know we talked a little bit about this with the first part is I hope they can keep Rudy's just perviness to a yeah. minimum. But <laughs> you know, in this first episode. Uh -huh. That's literally like the first thing that they go to after seeing our cast of characters again. It's just like, oh hey, yeah. 
Eris uh, is grown like, up real like, nice, and it's just like just, uh, just come Rudy on, as the character. Let's get like, to the like, good stuff. Let's get back to the like, Ru- yeah, Rudy <laughs> as a character is just like the big stain on like on this greatness of like this but, show. It's just, just Rudy. Yeah. He has good How moments, but yeah. he has a lot of bad moments. He is the heart and soul of the show. You guys take that back right no, now no, and let them do his thing. Okay. Also, my pet peeve came up this first episode too. I have to see the fat fuck again. <laughs> so, ah, uh, yes, talking to wow. Kamisama. <laughs> yeah. Rude. So okay. rude. One day his yeah. image will change, and you won't, you won't have to see him. Oh, yeah, okay, yeah, it does. Yeah, yeah, who knows? Hey, I will, I will we got it, but lots until of then, stuff coming. So, until then, Matt can hope. Yes. So. I'll, yes. I'll save everything else for our um, separate discussion. Sounds yep. good. So that's for say season two. Let's move on to our next show. We got another season two. We got eighty six. I mean, I, I, I keep calling season two. Or technically, they're part two. Is the, n- naming's weird, what's but season, whatever. Yeah. Well, season two. Let's just make you, it easy. You know what we're talking two. about. Yeah. You know what we're talking season about. Season two. Part yeah. Mm-hmm. The next part eighty six, and it's also already aired too. So it's a goal. It's, but again, it's like if you don't watch part one, go watch it, and then watch this if you're interested. So yeah. Yeah, I don't really have anything to say about that one. I mean, I don't know anything about where it's going, so I'm looking forward to it. I'm kind of hoping that I'll like the second season more. I feel like no. there were so many characters in the first season that we barely got to really touch on, and mm-hmm. I'm hoping there will be a, just a little bit more of a deep dive into everybody. And Justin, you saw the first episode, didn't you? And you were talking mm-hmm. about how um, it definitely starts out pretty strong. So that's oh yeah, the the revelation I, is really great. I know uh, me and Koo were talking. We're a little sad that you know it's not aliens or, or zombies. Aliens <laughs> that get aliens, to come guys. out. There's you know other individuals out in this world, for lack of a better <laughs> word. Um, but yeah, I, I think there's you know a lot there to keep the appeal of of what is coming next. Um, and the soundtrack, you know obviously is a, a 10 out of 10 even this first episode really really great i mean yeah um i mean i guess i guess i'm biased because I, I i like the first season and then starting off this episode i like season i like this part this next part as well mm-hmm. so i'm just enjoying yeah. it so i like i really like one of the new characters uh without spoiling why because i know we'll talk about it in their own separate videos but i really like this new president character and that's all i'll say hmm. okay yeah yep. but you hate so Holy so i get <laughs> but yeah, smug lollies, they can uh, go take a take a back seat. Yeah. So again, this is like the next part in eighty six. So if you're interested in eighty six, um we all recommend it. But go watch that first and then go watch this. So so that's it for eighty six. Uh let's say season two, part two. Move on to the next show. Um this one is, I guess you'd call it a, a big one. Comey can't communicate. This manga has been like requested since forever, for like years. It's really like been in such a big meme. I don't know when it came out, but like everyone keeps memeing. It's like it's like the the best, not the best, but it's like the it's like one of the few mangas remaining that hasn't gotten anime yet. Mm-hmm. So like, but it's really popular in like the manga community, especially for, for the rom com. It's kind of it's kind of like how um what was it? What was that that rom com show? That we Nagatoro? watched in the winter. No, not Nagatoro. No, like, uh, in the winter. No. What was that? Oh my gosh. That, Why can't that I think of that? Just ended because it's because it was like ten years long. Oh, and Hori Mia? Yeah, Hori, Hori Mia. Mia. Okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> so it's kinda it's kinda like Hori Mia where like it was oh. a long running manga that was rom com and people wanted an anime and now we finally get an anime. The manga yeah. started in twenty sixteen. Yeah. Hmm, okay. So that's so what, more recent. I haven't like you know read the manga or anything either, but I have heard that It'll be interesting to see how the adaptation goes, because to your point, David, it, it seems like from what I've seen in articles and stuff that this series is kind of similar to Horimiya in a, in a sense of like, no, I, I the, read the chapters manga, so... are like kind of like snapshots of time or something. So yeah, that's exactly yes. what I read, too. Oh, yes. God. Wait. My fear is that if they try to do a Horimiya again, it's going to be like, I think it's going to be different all than Horimiya, though. Well, that's, like, that's it's, not, it's not as it's not as serious as Horimiya. It's very more it's way more like slice Light of life. Hearted. Mm. yeah there's barely yeah. any romance really from a whatever at least like yeah there's barely any romance it's more about like this like comey okay. it's basically it's it's more like comedy slice of life it's basically like the main premise is like the main character comey she doesn't like she, she has a hard time talking so she's always like mm-hmm. writing things like on like a notebook or whiteboard because she can't she doesn't she's too shy to talk so mm-hmm. that's the, that's the, that's part of the title she can't communicate like she, so people are trying hard to make friends with her, and so the main ca- the main character is the main guy is just trying to make make uh try to get her to open up more and like make friends. And it's more it's more comedic slice of life. 
So I don't know if there's got to be any romance because there wasn't any in what I read. I need a slice of life uh, comedy show for the season. We'll be there. Yeah, I guess long story short, hopefully uh, the pacing will just be good uh, enough where it's not it's like, you know, just like event to event to event and you have some overarching it, evolution it, story-wise. There's a lot, there's a lot of events, events, events. So, mm, okay. We'll see. It, it's much more wholesome. So yeah. that's... I know all you guys are planning to watch it. I I currently didn't plan to watch it, but I I think after mm. you guys watch the first few episodes, I'll see what I'll your s- thoughts are. And well, also, also I'll decide. It's, it's an, I should also mention it's a Netflix show, so make sure you. Is it really? Can, yeah, it's a mm. Netflix show. <laughs> it might it might actually release weekly here, but I mean, we'll see. I'm a Netflix. Just just stick <laughs> to Squid Game. Don't 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 be touching our anime, all right? Ah, they're getting in everything, man. Shit. They're taking over the world. <laughs> Sick of this. Ah. Yeah. Yeah. So so that's that's Comey Can't Communicate, a big one that finally gained anime. Oh, show I had uh, I had knew nothing of. I just knew I was going to uh, win. Yeah. <laughs> I, I mean, yeah. I knew I knew this. I, I actually I don't know how big it's gonna be, but like I feel like because of the manga again, the manga people are hyping up. It's gonna get big. So we'll see. So that's it for Komi Can't Communicate. Uh, next one. This is Talk o- what was it OP or Old Destiny? I don't even know how to say this. Let's go. Say Old this Destiny anime. Planet. But basically, like, this is one of the... This is... A, I think this is... I'm pretty sure it's original, but, like, this was... This is from MAPPA and, like, Madhouse. Madhouse, yep. Yep, the collaboration. This is, like, one of the... Back when MAPPA had their live stream events and they did, like, their 10-year anniversary, they showed Chainsaw Man. This is what one of the other ones they showed. This is this this show, and like I just saw the trailer and it looked really cool. I was like, okay, the trailer got me. I'll just watch it because of that. I feel like this kind of gives me like guilty crown esque vibes in a weird way, where like it looks really beautiful and like animation and stylistically it looks great, but the story could potentially just be a huge dumpster fire. Dang. You 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 just describe exactly what I was thinking that I, I couldn't think of the words, Justin. Right. So yeah. And awesome. it's definitely interesting, kind of like the musical route that they're taking. Not that that's a bad thing. Maybe they would do it in a really interesting way, but it's one of those things I never, where I, I never like understand any musical references in any anime. Yeah. So. That's the other thing. Hopefully, they don't go like too in depth into music stuff, where it's like if you aren't like you know knowledgeable you, of like know, musical know your references, classics. you're just like, oh yeah. okay, you know, are know, they throwing know, out know Beethoven's, your, Mozart's, know, like <laughs> know your music history, know. people. Exactly. Yeah. Is this going to be on the test type of scenario? <laughs> yeah. So. I kind of like where it was, was with Vivi when like the like the music part of it, where it's just like okay, they're gonna take like a backseat yeah. to it, then they kind of add a little kind of similar, yeah. I mean, it wasn't that bad, so you know, if it's like if it's something like that, I think it'd be. Man, it'd it be all cool. comes down to the balance of it. Yep, we yeah. know they've got I'm... the studios and everything to back it up, but oh, yeah. can they nice. execute with yeah. it being an original story? <laughs> yeah. we'll see. I'm curious how like the first episode will be. I wonder if they're gonna go all out the animation and do like the cool oh, yeah. fight scenes, or it's gonna be like a slower start. Mm. Absolutely not. So, <laughs> I think they gotta go balls when to the wall Mappa, fight scenes. Yeah, when does Mappa ever like take it easy with the like, when it's at the beginning? They always I guess you never know. So yeah. we'll see. With Madhouse, we'll see. Okay. Because to your point with the trailer, I feel like the trailer that's what their main regard like, was. It's I just can't like, imagine, okay, let's like, just throw like... so much action and stuff that get people interested, and then now we can kind of ease slow it down. It. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so we'll see. Yeah, well, that's all I know. I know nothing. Of I, guess, I guess I know nothing of this. I guess I should. Look at the unless Justin, you want to just do a quick summary. Okay, of... let's see. No, yeah, I got to pull it up here. Oh, let's see. see. So in this story, one day a black meteor fell on the world and the world completely changed. The meteorite produced grotesque monsters called D2, which started running rampant. D2 very quickly banned all music, which was the one thing able to overcome them. But there were some people who resisted the D2. There were young women who hold the power of music, the music art. Very good good name so oh, this is what we're saying the yeah the writing might be a little yeah. um these young women hold scores that are able to defeat the monsters and there are also people who lead these women the conductor that's hmm oh, and that's that's a little, little, little sexist there what are there are there women conductors or just male conductors you know what's going on here um anime takes place in in america in the year 2047 so that'll be interesting to see <laughs> you know, and the their take on a America yeah. and see how we well, go here. It's anime, so but obviously you got to take place in New York because obviously we're gonna have you know hamburgers. We're gonna have you know some stylized version of the U.S. president. In, sort of online. In, in, yeah. in anime, like it, the U.S. is only New York and L.A. and maybe some Texas. Their aim so. is to travel to New York. That is the yeah, last yeah, little piece that's, that's as they are fighting why, these D two monsters. Why I mention it. 
Yeah, they try to hit uh, it up to Broadway, you know? Broadway yeah, is the main goal. Right? So, so. yeah. Oh, I don't know. Japanese people just love New York. So, doesn't make any sense. <laughs> oh, it's it's just, oh, yeah. It's so. just, it's just like, I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> I'll wait to hear your guys' thoughts on that show. I will sleep on that until I hear yeah. positive so also, things. That, that, that's, yeah. also why, that's also why my side the summary. It's like, are they really going to go all, act, all the action or are we going to get like the travel to New York in the first episode? I mean, with that synopsis, so. we're going to need some action. Yeah, reading that yeah. makes me feel they're just going to go full action. There's not going to be much story. Yeah. Okay. But who knows? <laughs> Here's what's full thinking. All right. We'll do it for just the speed of animation, hopefully. Mm -hmm. So that's it okay. for Attack of Destiny. Move on to the next show. We got Blue Period. I actually I've heard hearing about this. Like people saying like the manga is really good, but I don't know anything about it. So take it away, guys. Tell me what this is all about. Um, I actually don't really know a super lot about what this one's about. I just heard that it has to do with like art and drawing, and I was pretty much in with that. And then I heard the same as you, which is that um, it has a really big following, really big manga following. So I was like, mm -hmm. okay, we'll see how it goes. That's all I know. I'm trying to find it on the list, but I'm not having luck. So it's basically about this second year delinquent boy who's kind of like lost in life. He does everything well, right? Like he's he has good social standings. He does well in school, but he kind of just like follows the flow of normality. And it's mm -hmm. not really like he's not really feeling any sense of achievement or ambition. Uh, and then all of a sudden he saw this painting uh, one day, it totally drew him in. And then all of a sudden he's like, yeah, I just want to start drawing. And I guess the reason why they call it Blue Period is because... He has something with blue, like he has a thing for blue. So uh, that's kind of how it starts off. And it's basically about this delinquent who finds his place in life and he wants to pursue uh, a career in art. So uh, that's probably yeah. as simple as we can make it here. Mm -hmm. Sounds <laughs> awesome. And for anybody who is an artist, it looks like my anime list is hosting some sort of a or, or somebody's hosting through my anime list, a, a oh. contest for you to submit your blue art to be used in one of those things where they take everybody's art and put it into one image. Mm. So anybody that's interested in that, there are prizes too, but they're randomly selected. So mm -hmm. if you're interested, check it out. Yeah. I think, you know, definitely if, if you're an artist of, of sorts, you'll enjoy the show because they do go into a lot of the different like styles of art and in different um, uh, artists throughout the series. I've read most of the manga. I haven't caught up on all no. of it. Um, but more so, I, I know, you know, Tizzle uh, in our Discord, he provided, like, a really good overview of, you know, with the series, he doesn't think it'll be a huge hit, per se, because it's something where it, it has a very strong opening arc. And, and even from the manga, that's immediately what drew me in. Is like, the opening arc is mm. really, really good at getting you drawn into the art world, so to speak, even if you're not, you know, a big art person, per se. Um, but then I think one of the things that as it kind of develops, it does take a much more like focused approach into art itself, which maybe might not be for everyone. Um, but there's also some very like emotional drawings to it as well that I think can resonate with some people. So I think it's one of those things that if it hits with you, it's going to hit really well. And if it doesn't, then you may just think, oh, OK, you know, this is better than average, but not something that's like, you know, a a 10 out of 10, like, amazing piece of work. So it but, seems like it could be a pretty strong niche, more niche type of show. Yeah, it, it definitely can lean more toward the, the niche side. That's a good way to I, put it. I mean, even though I don't watch it, I always appreciate those type of shows, like, because mm -hmm. I feel like we always need them in anime. Like, it's always, there's always a place for them for someone, so that's always pretty cool. Mm -hmm. I yeah. mean, as of right now, it's a very heart oh, yeah. show from what Especially, I've seen, so. have you watched uh, the second episode, Koo? I have, I have. Yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah. Second episode, oh, definitely. Cool. That's already out. Yeah. 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 yeah, I didn't know it was already out. It, it did a, it did an early broadcast, I guess. I don't, oh, I don't really know. Yeah. yeah, but yeah, there's two episodes out, so it airs yeah. at Sunday, or it comes out Sunday for us, I believe. Yes, it's either Sunday or like really early Monday, sometime right. between then. Sweet. So nice. Yeah. Right. So so that is Blue Period. Let's move on to the next show. This one, this is courtesy of Desmond. Thanks for all all you all, <laughs> all the hype you did. This is for this is Move Love Alternative. I don't even know if I'm saying that right because I've just been hearing so many different things. Yeah, so love, love. let me know if I'm Muv saying Love Love Alternative. Muv love, okay. <laughs> Muv, Muv love Alternative. So so this is originally like a visual novel back in the mid two thousand. So this is like the era of like Fate Stay Night and Hikarashi. <laughs> So, but th I, I think everyone, just, uh, people just say like in the visual novel, it was like, like probably like the best visual novel 
the mm-hmm. cover or something like this everyone's oh, damn. this is really good yeah, it's very highly regarded i think on visual novel database it's still like one of the I highest think number rated. one yeah i, I thought it was like number one there yep. yeah and then I, I do remember like a long time ago there was like a kickstarter to translate the visual novel into english and and release it on steam and now it's it's been on steam for a while so you can you can, you can play this if you want to read yeah the, that was crazy because I, I heard about source. that where it's like People were playing a fan translate basically from like 2003. And then to your point, David, like after the, the GoFundMe, they finally got um, an English translation put on Steam. So oh, is this I wonder if it's wonder... one. What was that? Sorry? Like, is this the first season or like, is this the like, uh, first thing? So, so, so the way that the yeah. way that that Desmond explained it in the discord is like there's there's like there's the main there's like there's Mulov and Mulov Love and there's Mulov, Alternative is the sequel. It's not I thought it was a spin off, but Mo- Alternative is like the sequel to no. to just Mulov Love. So like so Mulov Love so it's like so this is so technically how, like the third like piece of work in the series from my understanding is you you had Mulov Mulov Love Extra and not a root no oh, okay just kidding so you have Mulov Love Extra which is the original visual novel to my understanding which takes very much kind of like your usual expected like dating sim type visual novel and then after that comes um Muv love i think it's ultimate um which that is where things kind of really evolve into what most people know of Muv love with like aliens and like uh mecca and everything and now alternate is what takes place after uh ultimate so it's basically the third piece and where a lot of the meat of the story is from my understanding um but that said Uh, it's definitely something that when i was on reddit and you know with desmond as well it's this show i don't think is something you can just go blind into so um there's actually a really good youtube video that i was watching um that i'll uh i'll share in the discord and i'm sure you know desmond from our discord will have some other resources right but it basically you know summarizes kind of the key characters the timeline the events to get you ready for Muv love alternative and i'm sure um desmond also wants us to mention too that um that uh the attack and titan author he has a lot he got a lot of inspirations from Muv love mm-hmm. so so that that's also like i think that's a big draw for a lot of people thing. too is seeing yeah, you know right. yeah where those inspirations and everything come from um so, the last thing i will say from desmond's and sorry to cut you off david is just that that's all right I, I know desmond had said that um and i don't know if if he had read this from i guess maybe there was an, an early airing of Muv love alternative and some of the viewers who know you know the series very well said that there are things that they decided to do that are kind of like a prequel in some instances that even like fans of the series didn't know of. So there's some completely new, new material as well coming out, like it, out of the series. Um, from what I remember, Desmond, I Desmond said, said that it was positive. It, okay. Yeah, it was positive. Yeah. So that's good. So, yeah. <laughs> so I was just, I mean, so I was, I, I knew, so I was already aware of Love because of the Kickstarter. So I was interested in this. I just wasn't sure if I was going to watch it right away. But after seeing what Desmond it's been having up. I guess uh, I owe it to him just to give it to watch it now. Same. Just same. So I'll do it. For, I'll do it for Desmond. Um, because I, I I was already interested in this already. So like, so it's not hard for me to give it a shot. I'm, the only thing I'm worried about is that because of how like how late alternative is. Like, I'm just worried about how the overall story. Like, how much I'm gonna miss by not knowing. Like all the original, yeah. Hopefully, like, Desmond will be able to keep us Desmond's keep us in the back. know in the Discord. <laughs> that's which always, I know he that's will. always what worries me is about watching anime. I hate missing out things, so that's why I like I, right. I always appreciate original stories. So yeah, because it's, so yeah, it's definitely it. the worst when there's like a small detail. And like as a series, a fan of the series, you pick up on that reference, but if you don't know it, then you're just like, oh, I don't get it. Yeah, <laughs> maybe a, which maybe sucks. A, maybe I'll watch this and just kind of continue to completely ignore it. Attack on Titan. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, it's got five hot waifus, so you can't. But really I feel go like wrong, that's one of the right? things too. I hope too many people don't read into you know uh, Isayama taking inspiration from this and expecting like, oh, this is gonna be you know. Oh, I'm not gonna say like, anything like that anyway. <laughs> but I, you know, I, was, I, I, I was just joking. More good just, quality <laughs> Attack on Titan level stuff where I feel like it nah. could be quite different. <laughs> I just I don't know. I just think about like Fate Stay Night and Jikigashi because it's like the same period that is like the, around the same time all these things like released by so it. yeah like that's i, I think like mid 2000 like early, early 2000s mid 2000s like thinking that kind of style so makes sense we'll see we will see but definitely on my radar i don't even i don't even know when the release date is for the first episode so we'll make sure yeah we'll make sure 
catch it. I'll try to keep up and uh, talk about the Discord with, with Desmond. So um, then... October 7th. So it should 7th. be in the next oh, day or two. This week. Yeah, this week. This week. Wow. Yeah, it's upcoming week. Yeah. Yeah. It's basically just going to be okay. the episode that was really previewed then, I'm guessing? Uh, if Maybe. To, probably. Okay. Yeah. Okay. All right. And also, I was going to say, too, I think I wonder, too, if, like, the whole success of the the Kickstarter was like super successful, and like a yeah. lot of the creators again, these Japanese creators don't understand how popular their work is overseas, so of course they get surprised. <laughs> so, I wonder if this whole thing was started because like the Kickstarter was successful. There's also like there's some, some, there's, there's some sort of game, um, like related to this too. It's supposed to release, but got delayed. So, like, Muffle of like game was announced as well. Yeah, so so I, I wonder if this whole thing came from like just the Kickstarter. And so, I feel it's a good we'll chance. see, yeah, we'll see. So that's so that's it. So shout out to Desmond for Move Love Alternative. Let's move on to our next show. Um, I think I'm gonna be one watching this, but I got Restaurant to Another World season two. Cause I mean, this is basically just cooking. Like I mean, it's an isekai, yes, but it's just basically like this guy. He has he has his 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 restaurant. There's there's a um the door uh, was it? It only opens like on once every Saturday or whatever or Sunday. It's only once a, once a week that it opens to the isekai world. And so these these people from the isekai can come into his restaurant and eat these delicious Japanese food. Hmm. So to be honest, it's just basically it, probably better than How would you juxtapose it against Shokugeki <laughs> no Soma? I was gonna say it's basically Shokugeki without like the, the etchy. Okay. Like there is there is food like gasm, but like it's not it's not etchy. So I still feel like they're gonna do that much better than how that Shokugeki finished off. I'm sure it's gonna be a lot I mean, more enjoyable uh, to watch. Does it like, try I mean, to go? Because I haven't watched, you know, the first season or anything. Does it try to go into like the actual like logic of cooking these dishes, or it's just like is it more just like a lighthearted like, hey, here's some really good looking food? <laughs> it's just like I mean, because it's 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 once a week, so he's back in the in the human world. Uh, oh, okay. that's, that's how he restocks. It's just like the the seventh day, the door opens to the other world, and then people can come in. And he says, you know, it's your say and then here's your menu and stuff and then yeah and then okay. and there's like this and that's not, not, not really a story it's just like there's some like lore stuff of like the different like races and stuff different like kingdoms and whatever but it's just mm-hmm. like just these different people eating like this this like modern food whatever nice oh so, so it's basically just food I, porn then i guess in a food sense porn. yeah basically yeah. that's why i watch without it without being basically... nice <laughs> yeah without, without being, being edgy. Edgy. yes and like, and the main guy's pretty chill. He's like, he's like, like this either like twenty year old or like or thirty year old like chef who's just like really chill. He's like, just makes all the food. He has, he has, okay, he has an assistant like that's from the isekai, and she helps him out. So like, that's like the only me like, I don't know. This, but basically, it's just like the main guy is really chill, and it's just he just makes food, and and like, and a lot of the, a lot of the isekai people like they like you know they're like they they they're skeptical, and then they eat the food, and then they get the fugasm. So. That's basically the show, but I enjoy it, and I was surprised that there's a, the first season came out like a while ago, like four years ago or whatever. So I'm surprised he's got a second season this late. He's living the so, dream. Yeah, so, I, like it. so, so I'm gonna enjoy. I'm gonna enjoy my food porn, my restaurant. And also, it's gonna, it's gonna like because there's so, there's a lot of Japanese food here. It's, I'm gonna be like, it's gonna make that fun to go to Japan that much more. <laughs> <laughs> so, so that's it for Restaurant to Another World season two. Move on to the next one. Osama ranking. And... Yeah, so I think I'm the only one planning to watch this at least right now for this season. Um, realistically, I'd never heard of, of the series at all. I, I think it does have a, a manga behind it. I don't know if it's a fairly wrong, r- a long-running manga, but what drew me into it is the fact that Wit Studio is doing the, the animation. So it's interesting seeing the path that Wit Studio has decided to take, you know, since uh, embarking oh, from I didn't uh, even know Attack that. on Titan. So... Um, I think, you know, if, if anything, the other thing that kind of drew me in is the, the art style as well. It gives me, you know, Nino Cooney vibes at Studio Ghibli type approach. Um, but I have no idea what to expect if it's going to be, you know, more adult themed in nature, or if it's going to be more of a kitty childish type show. Um, I, I don't really know at this time. Um, but basically all it seems like it is, it is a story of this boy coming into you know going from a a prince to a king so we'll see how it goes i think you know if it was a journey and story really good it has potential to be really really good so yeah we'll see i'm kind of interested in this i might pick it up but we'll see i just like 
Yeah. I don't know. Maybe I'll hear yeah, from you it's later. Definitely a fringe one. Yeah, I'll, I'll take the three feel, episode hit to see, you know, how how it progresses. Hmm. But I didn't, I didn't realize it was by Wit Studio, so I also yeah. maybe curious seeing what they did after BB. Mm-hmm. So they're definitely flexing so. their art in different capacities. It seems with different genres. Yeah. So that's it for uh, Osama ranking. Move on to the next one. Uh, Moon, Laika, and the Bloodsucking Princess. I've never <laughs> even heard of this. So Yeah, so I think uh, on our last podcast, uh, Tizzle actually said, Andy said he was planning to watch this one as well. Um, basically, this is a show about a race to space. So it basically takes the approach of Russia and U.S. trying to send the first non, you know, animal into space, basically sending a human into space. And what they find is that, um, you know, it's really difficult to send a human into space. So if they can't send a human into space, let's go ahead and send a vampire into Wait, space. Is this, is this like the, the, the Irina, like, vampire, like, cosmonaut mm-hmm. thing? Is that, mm-hmm. is that, so this, yep. is this the official yep. English title? Yes. Okay. So the, the Japanese title is Suki to Laika to Nosferatu. Which is very different, yeah. Nos- Nosferatu <laughs> is the specific. name of is the name of the project for this uh, this space mm. program. But uh, okay. no, I, I think it has good potential. I, the first episode's out has has released. Um, it released this last weekend. Um, you know whether it's going to be anything special to write home about, probably not the case. But it seems like it's you know a, a unique enough approach for a show that's going to be very comfy and have a good relationship built between. Um, this main human boy and this vampire girl. Okay, so. I'm curious about the show too, so I, I rely on you again, Justin. To tell All me right. how this is. I mean, I don't know. I, they lost me at the vampire part, so I, I can't. Yeah, really... it's a little bit far fetched. So we'll see. I, I mean, think if I anything, something... hopefully it's okay, just comfy. Honestly, <laughs> okay, honestly, like I mean, I don't see much vampire stuff in anime as much, so I, or I mean, I don't watch enough. I so think they killed it. So... Probably. Maybe there's I, the okay, there, in in the in manga like it, it, in the 2000s there were definitely, but I don't really remember much anime. So yeah, we'll see. No, it's definitely vampires have had a hit and miss track history, as we just said. So here's hoping we will see. It's, yeah. So so that's it for for that. Move on to next show. Uh, Tai Show Otome Otogi, Otogi Fanashi. <laughs> I don't know what this is, so someone, Taylor, you need to help us explain what this show is. I'm here, I'm here. <laughs> um, this one is, let me actually just pull up the thing for it really quick here. Um, sorry, I lost, I lost track of time, I'm so sorry. Oh, yeah, so this one, I, I'm adding this one, I don't know anything about it, I literally just added it right before we started this call, so I'm not sure if it was, like, n- more recently updated to my anime list or what, but um, basically... This one is about a son of a wealthy family who grew up wanting nothing but affection because his family was very cold. Um, And then it just it it looks like it's going to be like a romantic drama. So it's not by a studio I know. And it is originally from a manga. But I I don't know anything. It's historical. And that's really all I know about it. Yeah, it it has it down as a comedy romance license. Yeah. So if anybody knows anything about it, I'll be watching it. I'm the only one right now, but if I am liking it, I will share my thoughts throughout the season. Um, I'll just chime in with just the historical part. Taisho, I mean, Taisho period, that's the same period that uh, Demon Slayer takes place. So that's uh, 19, like 1912 to 1926. So basically like right before, right before World War II or whatever. So, so, so never mind. Uh, I was like, so so don't be don't be surprised if you see tra- if you see like, people wearing kimonos and then going on going on a train. That's the Taisho period. Okay. Yes. Oh, that's yeah. Like a, a special yeah. guest and also, and also, it's, it's also like when sure. it's also when Tokyo was like super mar- super industrialized. So like so you have people in kimonos in the countryside, and then you go to Tokyo, it's all lit up with like bright lights and and industry and all that. So hmm. okay. little history fact for you guys. Yeah. Good to know. So, so that's for that show. And then Taylor, you got another show, Deep Insanity, The Lost Child. Okay, you guys, this is this could very well be a stretch. Like, it, it could really be super crappy. <laughs> I have absolutely no idea. That sounds Again, interesting. I tried. You know, it's, it's a little... Yeah. Uh, Stone Cold. It's done by Silverlink, which I think 
they did like clown hat and stuff, I, I think. Um, but basically, I can just read the synopsis. It's pretty short here. Madness and unawakening sleep, Randolph syndrome. This new illness is slowly but steadily approaching humanity, causing or er, caused by the huge underground world asylum that appeared in Antarctica. There are strange creatures different from mm. the earth and unknown resources. People bet their lives on the depths of the mysterious new world to get huge wealth, organizational plots, or their own ambitions. And here alone, a young man with a wish in his heart is trying to challenge the front line of asylum. Honestly, like when I read this, I was like, I was like, damn, I'm surprised, David, you're not watching this. Sounds like something that you would be watching. That sounds interesting. Yeah. Is this, what's what's the what is the genre? Yeah. Is it like sci-fi? Um, sci-fi. Yeah. Okay, and it's it could have some potential. Oh, like right off the bat, Square Enix. So yeah. uh, it's basically it's, that, because, that could be that could be hidden. It's, it's, though. it's, yeah. it's yeah, because be no, no, it's because Enix is um, Enix uh, owns the the magazine that own that does oh. Full Metal Alchemist. Oh, okay. So okay. they own that magazine. They also did um, uh, Kake Gururi, the gambling show. They did they did a bunch of other shows. So they <laughs> so they the, the Enix side owns like a bunch of anime and then it just merged with okay. square enix so it's so technically square enix is it owns film alchemist that's the that's the part that that that's that you're looking at Sren. like well yeah it, it's just a producer they're basically the ones that like throw in the money really more it's than because anything. yeah it's because enix owns the magazine that mm-hmm. they probably the, the manga probably ran on or whatever or whatever like i'm trying to watch like the like i watched the trailer I really don't want to think about it. Like, like initial thoughts, it looks like just a giant hole that looks like it's a, like instead of like a made an abyss, it's in Antarctica. Yeah, where, I was gonna uh, say when when Taylor is reading the synopsis, it's just like so made an abyss, yeah. or you know, it's just a, a gigantic hole in snow. Or it's uh, like the dungeons yes. from uh, with, with a little bit more sci-fi elements from Don Maki. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I just, I'm looking at something right now. They did is it the first season? Uh, the rest on from another world. Oh so shit! Oh, very right, another reason they connected. Calling you. Very interesting. <laughs> they did they wow they, they did Fate Ilya as well. Well, feel so, free to join me watching the show if you want, David. <laughs> oh, it's, I'm curious, man. That's another show I had on. So. Like first, yeah, I might, I might join in on this. It's we'll not, see. it's not my maybe list. So this is, yeah, I'll, I'll see how <laughs> you guys. Uh, think. This is reminds me of like a. Gen- oh yeah, we'll see. Yep. I have my reservations. It reminds me of like a generic like video game type yeah. series. Sounds that's very generic. Make it an yeah. anime yeah. made for it, and then it's just like super generic. <laughs> yeah, it's hard to I have a tough time with these ones where I know absolutely nothing about them going in, but you know, that's the fun. That's interesting. Hey, yeah. You got to yeah. roll the dice. It's a dark that's adventure. Sci-fi. Exactly. Dark. Dark. Nobody says dark. You never have fun if you play it too safe, so. <laughs> I mean, that's what we're here for, man, because like. Right. Somebody's got to take the hit. We're not. We're not. We're not the. We're not the normie people who just watch, you know, well, all the regular shonens. The people well, need to know. They need to know. Even though we do watch a lot of the regular ones, but. Yep. Yeah. 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 We'll, we'll have, you know, we've got a good mix here, as we'll find out with some so, of the later shows we'll be talking so, about. So that's yeah. Stephen Sandy. Taylor, what's this next one? Night Beyond the Tricolored Window. Cornered. Tricornered. Cornered. Cornered. I can't read. Got you, man. So this is a supernatural mystery BL, which are three tags that I tend to lean towards. So it was a pretty quick ad for me. I was actually just looking through it, and it looks like there's a couple reviews up here already. Pearlescent Gem said it looks like they fit about three to four episodes worth of plot into the first episode. It seemed pretty rough. Not oh, not Lord. too great, but they said they found it still somewhat engaging. So, if rushed is the worst thing they can say about it, eh, I could still probably watch it. We'll see. More thoughts on that as it comes, but going in stone cold on that one as well. I'm really going in on like the shows at the bottom of the list this season. <laughs> I would call it bottom. It's just like just more unknown. Yeah. So yeah, it'll pick up later mm-hmm. during the season. You'll see those numbers go up. Mm-hmm. Yep, see them shifting. That the last of our normal ish shows. I mean, so that's that's the last of this <laughs> list. Yeah, yeah, this, for sure. This next section, next section right here is just for you, Koo. All day this you, sir. Well, so, this is not is, just well, for me. Oh, 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 like, this is for you, sir. <laughs> this is for you, sir. We could have believed when he said he was watching. This <laughs> comes out. Unbelievable. Yeah. This is <laughs> literally, <laughs> literally in our in our Google Doc says degenerate list. Yeah, so. Koo, which I put on myself. Which I put on myself. But. You know, obviously we're not gonna talk about it, right? We know that if you're gonna watch this, <laughs> you don't need to talk about it. You're you're watching it for a specific reason, right? Kind of like why I'm watching Miracle Chan, kind of. But we'll we'll see what happens. We'll, we'll see. Okay. Before you dive uh, in, sir. before you yep. dive in, I have a quick question for you. I know one of these is by the same author that did um, Redo of a Healer, right? Mm-hmm. Which yep. one is it? 
world's best assassin. World's best right. assassin. I'll throw so... myself on there. <laughs> Andy, oh, it, it, see, that's wow. what I'm saying. That's all it takes nowadays. Andy, it's, it's on our list, but for yeah. some reason I can't message in chat. World's so I'm just telling yeah. you. I'm just telling you now. <laughs> yeah. So there's there's three that I guess I'm just watching by myself. Uh, so I think <laughs> the first. The first two is more of just for me. I don't know if it'll be good, but uh, I kind of have a it won't. like a a thing for it. So, uh, so banished from the hero's party. It's about this guy who another I guess isekai. It's, it's another isekai, right? There's so there's gotta be one. There's gotta be, one. There's gotta be at least one or it's two like, or three. It's, it's it's one of the. Three. I guess I interrupt you, sir. Like this is another one of the zero <laughs> isekais where you're banned from the party, and then you yep. like you either being, you either get your revenge or you do nothing and you just a live a quiet life in the countryside. Yeah. That's like the two routes you go with like the banished derivatives but, of the isekais. Yeah, but I kind of like this because it's basically one of those. Uh, it's That's life, this, right? Yeah, it's just a slice of life, and it's very chill. Uh, it's it's kind of similar to another um, show from last season. It's called There's the called Living Pharmacy. a Quiet Life, or no, whatever. No, 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 no. There's so uh, there's, there's another called... show called like Li- Living a Quiet Life in Another World as well. So there's there's so many of these other yeah. But this, one, about these guys. But this one isn't an this guy. It's just basically a guy who just got banished from the hero's party because he was useless. So. Uh, but like a lot, a lot of these, a lot of these Spanish shows is basically just like it's basically just like Harvest Moon in like an isekai where he's this guy just like just he's either in a forest or a field and he's makes a farm and self sufficient himself. That sounds so, so comfy. So, so yeah, it's just it's just a comfy show, right? <laughs> it's nice. Nice. There's lie. a yeah. lot of them. There's a lot. Yeah, there's a lot of them in, in in web novels and mangas. They're probably gonna make a lot more animes now too. So. So good, good for you, Stren. You need to, more. To be honest with you, they should just get one long going show, and I would be okay with that. But since I keep ending it every season, you gotta just pick up a new one, and, <laughs> and, and carry on, carry on that. Uh, you know, the show that that feeds that that the hunger, right? The so yeah, so that's Spanish from the Heroes Party, and then the other one is called The Evolution Fruit. This one is a Isekai, and it's very. Oh, you skipped uh, it. You skipped one. You skipped one. Oh no! I'll get to, I'll get to that later. Oh, just but, <laughs> yeah. So for uh, this one's called Evolution Fruit. Uh, my life changed afterwards. But uh, the first episode actually came out today, from what I saw on my site. I, I'm mm-hmm. so confused about the description. It's something about a, a gorilla and changing, swapping, or whatever. Like I'm so confused. What the hell? What? Yeah. So please, in first, please do tell. Yeah. yeah. So in the first episode, like this is an isekai, right? So basically, there's this guy who's kind of a loser. He smells. He's really fat. No one likes oh, him. Oh, oh, nice. well, sounds uh, good. Supposedly, Why that supposedly, sound no <laughs> supposedly no one likes him. But it turns out that there is actually like a small group that thinks he's kind of an okay guy. Like he's very optimistic, right? Even though he's physically he's he's in a bad shape. Like he actually has a good mentality. Like he's very optimistic and he doesn't let the world like really bring him down. Mm-hmm. So I guess that's his upside. And basically, when he gets te- teleported to the other world, he finds these evolution fruit that he eats. And, you know, like, because of that, like, hence the title, too. his life slowly becomes better. So it's like, yeah, a, a worse version of One Piece. And Wait, really? uh, as, I was going to say. Yeah. <laughs> you, I mean, it's sort, of like, it's sort of like the devil fruit, right? You have evolution fruit. <laughs> Sounds right. like it. So, okay, and then, so, like, so. in the first episode, it's basically, uh, he, he, he's leveling up, and he fights this pink gorilla, and apparently they fall in love, and that's, that was the end of this episode. So, we'll oh. see what happens. We'll oh, see what happens. So. That, again, okay, dude, these, I... these turns, man. Holy shit. Yeah. I thought they, but like, okay. it's, it's kind of, it's kind of, eh. What do you, it's kinda, when you said gorilla, I thought you meant, like, the, like, uh, just, like, a derogatory of, like, of him, just, like, being, like, this big, like, fat <laughs> dude, know. whatever. And then, now gorilla. he's saying it's, now you're saying it's a literal gorilla, mm-hmm. which which okay. we which we will believe that it it's going to be a really hot girl. It's going to transform to a really hot girl. I think that's so, what the cover art showed. So yes. that's why I was confused. Yeah. Yep. And then this other one that I'm watching that apparently it's just me is uh, my senpai is annoying, and I, it feels like it's it's going to give me kind of a tour door vibe, but it's more like the the workplace. Yeah, I was thinking. Uh, I, mean, I was thinking more of that. Oh, I was thinking like a watched. reverse like Nagatoro. You... No, or, I was or, of, yeah. that, of that other one Ku, that you that you really liked that a really short girl, uh, uh, Umaru Chan. Umaru Chan. Uh, no, Umaru Chan wants to hang out. Yeah, that one. That's where I kind of got it because you know, she wants to hang out, hmm. but she's annoying, and you know. I've I've seen the covers of this manga, but like I never read it, and it, the description just sounds like it doesn't. It didn't sound like it was interesting to me. Like yeah. I don't. Yeah. 
yeah. I don't like annoying people. So I just thought of him I all can't the time. imagine. Like, like when I saw that, I was like, uh, mm-hmm. that's all I know. Didn't really yeah, know. but basically, it has a taste that I usually like to watch once a season. It has comedy, romance, and slice of life. And it's basically like this, this, this like lowly looking lady that has a senpai, right? Who's in, like a bigger guy. And he's really annoyed. And I'm assuming this is just their relationship in the workplace. And I guess we'll see what happens. Uh, I guess they fall in love because it has the romance tag. But uh, one day, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. It looks like it'll be like interesting watch. Something to just kick back and enjoy. It, it actually seems like yeah. a, another comfy show. Yeah. With some comedy. Mm-hmm. And then uh, the last two on our list here, which apparently I have other takers. Uh, the World's Best <laughs> Assassin. Okay, I will. Okay, <laughs> David, defend yourself. <laughs> Go. I will say I read the manga, and I didn't know this was like the same author as this redo of Healer. So, mm. so I didn't know anything about that. So, and like the, the manga starts okay. out fairly normal. It's like Isek- Isekai, like the main guy. He was like he was like like the world's you know best or what, finance assassin, or whatever. So he basically he's an assassin in the real world, mm-hmm. and then he gets Isekai into like I think a noble person in it, but then like so basically he like he uses he brings over his assassin skills to the isekai world and so that's what i'm interested in and i didn't read much of the manga so i don't really know much but like it's it's like way more it's much more normal isekai so so not, not not yeah not not like that not like the not like the, the the stuff that happens in redo of healer it's much more normal like if you if you were to compare this to redo of healer you wouldn't t- you couldn't tell it was the same guy oh, okay mm-hmm. Well, they had me at Isekai, so that's why I watched it. <laughs> oh my god. Fair enough. So. Just with him being like an assassin and sniper and stuff, I can't but help but think of Sword Art Online and the Gun Gale <laughs> Online arc. Mm-hmm. I don't know why, but that's where my mind gravitates to. And in the thumbnail, we do see three somewhat cute girls, so we'll see how it, which direction it takes, right? So, I mean, redo a healer alt there, he's an assassin. I'm sure you can kind of make something work here, right? Sure. I don't I don't really have my expectations. I'm only just curious because I didn't, you know, I didn't read on the manga, so I'm just curious how it is. But I, I don't have much, much hope or anything. Pizzle is saying that it is good, yeah, so I was just I, say it, that. it must must be and going towards the normal vibe. So I don't know fine. if Tizzle and I share the same same taste in isekais, but we'll see. That's why. Yeah. That's why Tizzle's on Team Ku. Yeah, Team Ku. <laughs> let's go. And then right. last but not least, this is what brought this was brought to my attention by Johan. Uh, the world's end harem. So basically, there's a man killer virus that was unleashed into the world, and there's not that many guys left. And wouldn't you know it, a lot of girls uh, meets the wow. MC. And uh, this sounds, well, this, yeah, we'll I mean, this sounds, it sounds like a hentai, but like they want to market, no, they want to publish no, no, it in no, a no, magazine, no, 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 so they made Etchy no, no, no. instead. I'm with you well, on this one, cool. It, it, it can't be worse than redo this a healer. Is, this so is we'll a see. serious problem that they have to deal with, <laughs> yes. David. You know, they got to yeah. repopulate somehow. You know, yes. all the men are dying. Yes. It's yes. basically, it seems like Japan's take on the movie. Uh, God, what was that movie called? Children of Men or whatever with uh, Clive oh Owens. Oh, my God. Don't even say that. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> oh, the same thing. I know. That's a really big stretch. <laughs> but. That's just what came to my head in terms of like the whole like, oh my god, we can't repopulate. What are we gonna do? <laughs> yeah, I picked this up because of uh, Johan's recommendation. Watch the PV. Yes. Animation looks very nice. Wife this, is like, okay. I see a plus in like the in like the manga sites. Like this, this is updated like every month. Like there's dedicated fans that are translating this. Like every Good. every chapter comes hey. out. So I see. There it I, is. I see, I see like when my browser's like worlds and harm updated. Worlds and harm updated. It's like okay, Dude, harm- someone's like. Hey, this, what so. say, man, my, my team is very dedicated. Harms so. will never die. So, so like, so like I, I, re- I, re- I recognize the, the cover of the main girl because like the, the manga is just like keeps getting updated so much with like all these mm. fan translations. So, hey, it must be good, right? To them. There's a dedicated fan. Okay. So. Also, also real quick, Tizzle was asking what's my favorite isekais. I mean, I really like Mushiko Tensei. I like ReZero. Uh, I like, I like Yojo Yo- 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 Senki. So, trying. There's like more, but that was like. Kind of my favorites right now, but yeah, go ahead, Ku. Anything else for Worlds and Arum? Uh, I mean, I can kind of see why you would think it's a hentai because it does have a lot of plots that hentais use. But uh, uh, fingers crossed that it it has some decent plot. But according to Tizzle, it's pretty meh, so probably not. I'm yeah, sure it'll be fine. Yeah, strict fan service, boys. Let's go, Team Ku. <laughs> Let's go. Doing uh, the world but, justice. That's right. Uh, yeah, so that's at least a, in Johan 
I, I'm yeah. not the mach- I have no idea what the show besides like the virus. I have no like I'm. No I'm idea. just waiting for Threaten's review because I I, yeah, I it'll nothing. be really good. <laughs> I basically have okay. nothing. I, I just jumped in because I want you know like I said. All right, and I think that's the end of the list. So I'm actually kind of surprised. Like this list isn't bigger than it usually be. It usually fall. We have like a lot of shows. Here it's like there's not a lot of big. I don't really see a lot of big heavy hitters. It's like more of like like way and see. I mean, so I think Mushoku and Demon Slayer are two just giant ones. Honestly, well, like, I know those those, those are yeah. giant ones. But usually we have like a big like we have like five or six like heavy hitters. Good. And so I don't really see except last season. Here, last so. season sucked. Like it looked like last it was season, so yeah. promising and then just just tanked. Yeah. Well, last season I like a lot of us were just behind because we got busy. So oh, don't worry. Really, really, you're not you're not missing much. You and Justin. We didn't really like. Much. We didn't really yeah. feel like. It was yeah. a good time to be busy. So yeah, <laughs> it was I a guess. good time. Uh, so. Yep, it's uh, it'll be interesting to see how the season goes so we'll see and then um so that's it for our previews um so uh once the season is over um we'll, we'll do uh episode discussions on on a lot of the popular ones um we're still trying to go through the summer one as well so look we'll out for our episode on yeah look at our episodes for Tokyo avengers and to your attorney and uh, any other shows we missed so so look out for those that's our that's our format for this show um if you want to um be up to if you want to join the discussion on the current season of the with the current episode, we do have a Discord. You can join that and check the tech, different text channels of the latest episode air if you want to be part of the discussion. So look forward to that. We hope to see you there. There's two shows, yeah, but... like how David mentioned, the Demon Slayer and Mushoku Tensei. We'll have separate um, episodes based on those. Oh yeah, yeah. So yeah, so we'll have weekly reviews for those two shows, and also and also um, I mean. Going in ahead of ourselves. Also, Attack on Titan airs too. We'll finish. We'll do our weekly episode reviews for that yeah. as well. So Winter. it's gonna be one hell of a snowball going from fall into early yep. next year. It'll lots of stuff yep. coming down the pipeline. We'll have lots of content. <laughs> yep, it'll be good. So, so this that's that's our that is our fall preview for for 2021. So look forward. To it. Um, let us know in the comments too. Like what what you're interested in. If you anything you agree with the disagree, just itching to see what everyone else thinks so what you're watching yeah 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 so look forward to it that's it for this show we'll see you guys later bye 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 bye, bye. bye.